Hello and welcome. Today we're going to play something different. This game's called A Dark Room. This is a browser-based thing. You can play on your phone as well. It came out a few years ago, and uh, it's not in development. Most of the things I try to play on the channel are in development things. Well, this is not one of those things. This is one that is is done. It was done uh, like three or four years ago, and uh, but it's it's very, very interesting. Someone mentioned this in, uh, in the comments on my, my What Should We Play This Month for Free Games Month, and this one came up. And I thought I'd try it out. Uh, I played a little bit of it whenever I was messing with the game. And I didn't know what the point of the game was. It seemed like, what am I playing? This is strange. But I just tried it out for a little bit longer, and it got very, very interesting. Interesting enough to warrant a video on this. So I will go ahead and try this thing out. And uh, bear with me, it's a little bit different. Text-based, in the browser kind of thing. But uh, we got the... Uh, the thunder music playing in the background to uh, aid in our ambiance here. So we are sitting in a dark, a dark room at the moment. The room is freezing. The fire is dead. I'm all alone in a dark room. We're going to light a fire. And the fire is now burning. The light from the fire spills from the window out into the dark. We Now we have a fire-lit room. And the, uh, we can stoke our fire as we need to keep the fire going. Turn on hyper here just to make sure uh, things move a little faster for the video here room is getting cold. Well, we gotta stoke our fire as soon as we can. There we go. Fire is now roaring. We're warming up the room. Being a little bit more peaceful and uh, and calm in here. And now you're starting to think, at this point in the video, you're thinking, what is he playing? This is a strange game. A ragged stranger stumbles through the door and collapses in the corner. He stokes the fire. <laughs> the wind howls outside. The wood is running out. Stoke the fire. You can see our wood store is now running very low. We need to go outside. Let's go outside and gather some wood. The sky is gray and the wind blows relentlessly. There's dry brush and dead branches, dead branches all over the forest floor. We're going to gather some wood and stick them in our stockpile and keep our uh, our fire going. The uh, The room is nice and mild at the moment. We're using a piece of wood every time to keep this fire going. The, shiver, the stranger shivers and mumbles quietly. Her words are unintelligible. Stoke the fire. As soon as we, don't, as soon as we can, we're going to grab some more wood. Make sure we keep our wood stockpile nice and, uh, and going. The room is now hot. Stranger in the corner stops shivering. Her, bra her breathing calms. Bunch more wood on the ground. We're going to go grab outside. We come back into the house. Stranger is standing by the fire. She says she can help. She says she builds things. Oh, yeah? Is that right? Builder says she can make traps to catch any creatures that might still be alive out there. Builder says she can make cart to carry wood. Fire is roaring. Well, go ahead and make me a trap. I got some wood. Yeah. Make traps to catch more things outside. Okay, we'll go outside and we'll, we'll set a trap outside. Let's check that trap. Yeah, we found some, some bits of meat in that trap. All right, gather some more wood. Make more traps if we want to catch more creatures. Dry brush and dead branches all over the floor. We'll grab all that stuff and keep our wood supply going. The fire is roaring. We don't need to stoke the fire anymore. It's fine. Uh, we can have her go ahead and make ourselves a cart, I suppose. Let's do that. A rickety cart will carry more wood from the forest. So next time we go grab more wood, we can carry a cart with us and carry more wood back into our uh, our little shack that we have here. And we'll do that in just a moment as soon as uh, as soon as we can. So yeah, so we're sitting in a in a room here. We have some stranger, we don't even know her name, but uh, apparently she builds things. Look at all the sticks we got this time. Excellent. Excellent. Builder says there are more wanderers. They'll work too. So if I build a hut, more people will come and join in my little shack. I don't know why they want to, but uh, sure. Let's go ahead and check our traps. Tattered cloth is found in, in that uh, that trap. Excellent. Wood's up to 75 right now. As soon as we can, we'll grab some more wood, and that should put us up to 100. We can get a, a hut built in our uh, in our place. And some folks will come and join us, and they can help us build things as well. Let's gather some wood. Dry brush and dead branches litter the forest floor. There we go. We got 131 wood. Uh, we also have one cart, one trap out there. We're going to go ahead and build ourselves a hut. Builder, put up a hut out in the forest. Says word will get out. Now we have a lonely hut outside. I also would like some more traps for 20 wood. Please, more traps. Catch more creatures. Thank you very much. So now we've got two traps. One hut, one cart. A, one, a weathered family takes up in one of the huts. So now we've we got two people living in one of our huts. And they'll gather two wood for every 10 seconds. So they're just going to go out there gathering wood. That's all they do. Their goal in life is to gather wood. Excellent. I'm going to go ahead and help them. Some of the traps have been torn apart. Large prints lead away into the forest. Well, we got to go look. 
Not far from the village lies a large beast, its fur matted with blood. Puts up a little resistance before the knife. Oh, we got a hundred fur. Oh, there was a beast. It's dead now. That's right, it's dead now. Excellent. So we can make another hut for 150 wood. We can make another trap for 100 wood. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, the fire is burning. The room is still hot. We'll leave the fire to be. It's fine. Stranger arrives in the night and gives us three people now in our village. Uh, well, village in our hut. It holds four people. Three of them are in there right now. Check our traps while we're here. We'll gather some more wood as well. We got some fur, scraps of fur in our traps. More, uh, more wood. We got 166 wood. We got villagers could help hunt, given the means. Well, let's go ahead and build them a lodge then. That's 200 wood, 10 fur, and 5 meat. We have that. So as soon as we get more wood, we can build a lodge. Which will allow them to go and hunt, which will give us more meat. And we'll start building a proper little, uh, it's, it says lonely hut. It says village. It's becoming a village. You can't really call it a village if you got one hut, I suppose. Yeah, there's some more wood. And now we're going to go ahead and build ourselves a lodge. A trading post would make commerce easier. We'll make a lodge first. Hunting lodge stands in the forest, a ways out of town. Town would be my one hut. Uh, so we have these four people gathering right now. We could have them give them different jobs. Like one person can go and do some hunting, one trapping. A pack of snarling beasts pours out of the trees. The fight is short and bloody, but the beasts are repelled. The villagers retreat to mourn the dead. He, the beast just ate two of my people. That's not cool. We need more huts. Um, let's gather some more wood. We got to get ourselves up to 150 wood so we can get some more. Um, Another hut out there. Traps contain the bits of meat. Um, let's see. We got 150. We're almost there. And we'll leave them gathering. We don't need any of this stuff just yet. We need 150 wood, so we'll keep them there. So now it's starting. To, it's starting to turn into like a base building game, almost. I I don't know how this game ends, but apparently there's some sort of surprise ending. You can play this on your phone. I'm not sure if it's on iOS, but I believe so. Uh, yes, iOS and Android. Builder puts up a hut out in the forest, says word will get around. We have a tiny village now. We have a population of eight we can support now with our two huts and uh, our lodge and our one trap that is out in the woods. Let's go ahead and gather some wood while we we're at it. And I could have you build another trap. Yeah, go for it. We got lots of fur and meat laying around. There's a bit of teeth there as well. Now uh, we'll check some traps. Strange, strange scales and scattered teeth. Group arrives. All dust and bones. What? A small group arrives, all dust and bones. What does that mean? I don't know. We're going to have one of you guys hunt and one of you guys trap. I'm still interested really in getting wood, mostly. But we can see the five gathers, we're getting five wood per ten seconds. And Hunter's giving us a half, a fur and a half of meat per ten seconds. So it's slowly going up. But uh, we're getting there. Gather that. The room is a mild. We should stoke our fire. Keep the, uh, the warmth up in here. I mean, we can get another, another hut if we wanted to get another group of people in here to get some things rolling before we get the uh, trading post. This is as far as I've made it. When I did my test thing, this is about as far as we got. Uh, as I got in uh, through the walls, shuffling noises can be heard. Can't tell what they're up to. Investigate. Vague shapes move, just out of sight. The sounds stop. Go back inside. Frantically. <laughs> uh, check the traps. Gather some wood. We got plenty of wood now to make ourselves another hut. Oh, a tannery. But uh, builder says leather could be useful. Says the villages builders could uh, make it. So build a tannery. They could actually go and make the 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 leather at the tannery. We have a severe shortage of I think people. We're gonna have a stranger in the night. We are full. So let's build ourselves another hut. Crank up twelve max population here. We can start getting some things rolling in here. Weathered family has taken up, so now we've got 10 of 12 in here. And we're up to 160 wood. You can see what we're gathering all here. We've got uh, quite a bit of wood rolling in every uh, every turn. Meat and fur is rolling in as well. Um, I think people are actually eating the meat, right? Hunter's gaining some. Trapper is losing some. Um, Hunter's gaining. Trapper is losing some. I guess the trapper is turning meat into fur. I'm not sure how that works. I'm going to try for turning the meat into fur. I'm not sure. Uh, but we do need to get some of these things set up as soon as we can. How's the fire doing? Room is warm. Uh, yeah, stoke that fire. Fire is roaring. Can we, like, burn our hut down? That might be a problem. Grab that stuff if we can. Some of the traps have been torn apart. Large prints lead away into the forest. Go for it again. 
Trash disappeared just after a few minutes. Ugh. Bummer. Okay, I'm still going to keep the wood rolling in because that's the most important thing. We can get our trading post or a tannery running up uh, here. Go ahead and build some more traps. Um, secure the meat. It'll spoil. Builder says she can fix something up with a smokehouse. That might be a good idea. We get a lot of meat here. Might be a good idea. Keep on that wood gathering. We have room for one more person in our place. We need a lot more wood, though. We can, we can build another hut. That'll increase our people uh, up to 16. But a stranger arrives tonight. We are, we are now full population, full capacity here. Let's throw in... Let's do it. One more hut. Put up a hut. Where we'll get around. Now we're going to be gathering 10 wood per 10 seconds. So a wood per second is going to be rolling in here now. Um, then we can move people into hunters and trappers. I still I think that's fine. We don't need... Um, Oh, I, I get it. The, the, we're trapping because we're using meat to get, uh, as, mate, as bait, to get things in to give us things like fur and teeth and stuff like that. I get it. I get it. Okay, so as soon as that gets rolled up here to 600 or so, we'll make some of these. I think smokehouse might be the most important thing to do at the moment. Make sure we keep the, uh, the wood and everything else coming in. The family has moved in. we got 14 of 16 people living here. We'll gather that. Check our traps. Bits of meat and strange scales. Hmm. More traps, please. More traps. That puts us up to how many? We got uh, three baited traps. Okay. I should keep some things rolling in here. When we get up to 400, we'll be... Um, well, we could build our trading post right now. Hmm. Do that or we just wait for the smokehouse. This is the trading house, trading post. I want to build something. Now the nomads have a place to set up shop. They might just stick around a while. So I can buy scales for fur, teeth for fur, or a compass for lots of fur, scales, or teeth. All right, but that was a waste of, of resources. We'll check all of these. And um, a pack of snarling beasts pour out of the trees, and they eat some more of my people. Stop eating my people. And wood is uh, down again. I guess this will this will roll around and change in time, right? That's what it said. It might stick around for a while. Hopefully it changes. Maybe I need scales in the future. I'm assuming I probably do. And I could do this right now and buy more scales, but I don't see why I would need scales at the moment. So make sure we keep on gathering wood. I gather quite a bit of wood. Every time I go out there, I'm, I gather, what, like 70 of it? And uh, we still have 10 coming in from the people. We need more folks to come showing up here. But we can get a tannery and a smokehouse very soon. Room is warm. I don't think we need traps right now. A hut could be nice, but... We're not even at maximum population right now anyway, so... Bits of meat, strange scales, and scattered teeth are in the traps. We've got some more wood here. We'll get 600 wood in just a moment. There we go, 390 something. There we go, we got a family coming in. That'll give us more wood. Excellent. Get to work. Pick up sticks. We need them. Now we'll wait until we get to 600. Once we hit that, we'll get ourselves a smokehouse. And there it is. Almost. 595. Almost. 600. There we go. Smokehouse. Alright. Builder finishes the smokehouse. She looks hungry. <laughs> Wanderer arrives with an empty cart. She says, if... He says, if he leaves with wood, he'll be back with more. Not sure. You, I don't have wood to give you, Builder. I, I apologize. I would give you some, Mysterious Wanderer. But I don't have any to give you. Stranger arrives in tonight. We're up to 15 of 16. Let's gather some more wood. And, uh... Oh, we have, we have a, uh... A shark... Charco charcutier? Charcutier? What is that? A smoker? Is that what that is? Okay, yeah. So you're gonna turn meat into cured meat. Yeah, keep doing that. That seems like a good idea. Room is mild. We'll go ahead and stoke the fire a little bit. Um, we're going to build ourselves a tannery, I believe, next. Check some traps. Uh, we might actually build another hut. Maybe that'll be our next goal. Another hut built, and we get ourselves a... Because we're still just a tiny village. We don't want to be a tiny village. We want to be better than that. My mom said I can be any kind of village I want. And we're going to do that. So as soon as we can, we get 300. We get ourselves another hut, which puts us up to 20. Modest village, I think, would be an appropriate term for that. 
Our firelit room doesn't have much to it other than just a fire in it at the moment. So we'll get there. Almost. Almost. We have loads of uh, fur and meat. Cured meat up to 21 right now. Alright, almost 300, which will get us another hut. And... Almost. Now, what's using the wood? Hm, maybe the smoker. Check those traps. Make a hut. Oh, what, what is using it? It must be the... Yeah, the smoker is using a, quite a bit of it. Okay, do that. Put up a hut. Modest village now is what we are. Yes, I think so. We get 20 people. That'll, that'll help us out quite a bit. I could lower this if we wanted to lower the cured meat needs. Um, so you're taking away 10. Are you adding 10? You're only adding 2 into there. Cured meat, meat is gone now. I'm going to dump you down to just the 1 then. No need to have you working because we don't have any meat now. Actually, you know what? No more working. Just gather wood because we got to get ourselves a tannery. It's the next thing we have to make. How's the fire doing? A beggar arrived. Ask for any spare furs. Keep him warm at night. I have tons of fur. I'll give you 50. Expresses says, thanks. Leaves a small pile of scales behind. <laughs> thanks, buddy. <laughs> Everything I want is scales. All right, check that. Gather some wood. We've got strange bits of meat, tethered cloth, strange scales, scattered teeth, and scraps of fur. That was some mighty uh, good trapping there. Okay, so we just need to get up to there. We've got a weathered family taking up one of the huts. We're up to 18 people now. Wood should be coming in pretty quickly. We'll get to 500 wood, and we have the fur for this. Fire is flickering. Oh, there you go. Don't let the fire run out. Stranger arrives in the night. We're about to hit number 500. There it is. We're going to go ahead and build ourselves a tannery. Tannery goes up quick on the edge of the village. Now we have a tanner who's going to take our fur and turn it into leather. Some of the traps have been torn apart. Large print plinths. Large something leads away. Track them. Disappear. Bummer. Got some more wood. And uh, meat doesn't seem to be doing... We're not gathering any meat, are we? I guess our trapper should be picking it up very, very slowly. Now, what's next? I guess we just wait and see what uh, what happens here. Now, we could buy something. I do want to buy a compass. I need lots of fur for that. How do I get fur? Fur is from... Ye no, that's... You're taking my fur away. Trapper will give me fur, right? I'm actually using fur. Will that, will that adjust that? Oh, the hunter. We need a hunter. Yeah, I want lots of fur because I want to buy a compass. So, ten hunters. Let's roll in some... Actually, we're at zero right now because of the tanner. Tanner, no more leathers. I want furs right now. We'll do that, and then we can get ourselves a compass. We have the scales, right? We have the scales. We have the teeth. We have everything we need. Just We need more fur. And I can't really do anything about it other than just sitting back and um, maybe picking up... Ooh, what's this? A workshop. It says she could make finer things if she had tools. Ooh. I may do that for you, but I want a compass first. So keep on checking our traps until we get up to a lot of fur. 400, exactly. Can be heard. Vague shapes move just out of sight. Mm. We're almost there, though. We got 20 more fur, and we're going to buy ourselves a compass. Almost. I have, uh, we've got 18 hunters right now. I've adjusted some things around. So we are, uh, rolling in here with this. Fire is burning. It's looking good. Gather some more wood. And buy a compass. Compass points north. Alright. I'm not sure what that does for us. Um, oh, oh, dusty path. Oh, wait a minute. We can embark. How do we do this? We'll send five cured meat. Embark. Oh. A damp cave. Go in the damp cave. The mouth of the cave is wide and dark. Can't see what's inside. No, I need a torch before I can do that. 
Okay, so we get to wander around without, like, running out of cured meats. Interesting. Okay, we'll go back to the base. Okay. We're going to stock up on cured meats and we'll do some more embarking. A tree, tree loom on the horizon. Grasses gradually yield to a forest floor. A wall of gnarled trees rises from the dust. I wasn't even reading all this. Here the earth is split, bearing an ancient wound. Oh. Room is warm. Stoke that fire. Uh, we can do a workshop to give ourselves some tools. Hmm. Let's gather wood. Check our traps. Let's, we don't need so much fur now. So you can go back down to doing something like that. Uh, we are curing meats just fine. We have plenty of cured meat. Tanner and Trapper, you guys can do what you do. I think we would need to build ourselves another hut as soon as we can, which I guess we can right now. Let's go ahead and do that. Put up a hut in the forest. Excellent. That'll give us up to, what is it, up to 24 people. And let's go do another adventure. We're going to go ahead and take as much cured meat as we can. Okay, we got to get some more, we got to build ourselves some tools, I guess, some workshop stuff. All right, let's go embark. Let's go south this time. Every two is a uh, thing, so. Trees yield to dry, dry grass. And see nothing. Strange looking bird speeds across the plains. Punch it. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, I have to be quick. A bird attacked me. <laughs> okay. Uh, Wanderer arrives with an empty cart. If I leave, if she leaves with furs, she'll be back with more. I'll give her a hundred furs and she'll come back with more furs. Okay. That's what she says. That's what she says. We'll see about that. Did I lose my people? No. Okay. Watch out for those strange looking birds out there. Uh, check traps, gather wood. We're up to uh, 227 wood again. We need to get 800 before to do this. We are short on leather as well. We have we have the scales. So to do that, we need to get the tanner cranked up. Get ourselves some leather. Now we got some family moving in as well. Mysterious wanderer returns. Cart piled high with furs. Ho ho! There we go. Excellent. So I can buy all this stuff. I wonder if I should. Stranger arrives in the night. That puts us up to our full 24, I think. Yep. We'll do one more uh, embarkation. And then we'll have to call it a day here. Let's embark. First, this time we're going to go west. Uh, east. Punch. 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 Oh, there we go. I see. I get it. Punch. Punch. Um... Take everything and leave. Take all the furs. Yeah. Take everything. We've gained one fur and one meat in this whole venture. Dangerous to be this far from the village without proper protection. Yeah, it sure is. What's that? What is that? A coal mine and a damp cave. We can't go in the cave, right? We don't have a torch. But we can go into the coal mine? Campfires burned by the entrance of this mine. Men mill about. Weapons at the ready. Uh, we probably shouldn't attack them since we have no weapons ourselves. What? Thirst becomes unbearable. Oh, we ran out of water. Whoops. I'm bad about uh, managing my people. I'm sorry, people. <laughs> I apologize. We had ten water, right? I was watching the meat. I wasn't watching the water. Uh, Scout says she's been all over, willing to talk about it for a price. I want this, though. But I want this. Learn scouting. A thousand fur? I want that. Oh, man. That's what we need to do. So I gotta call... I gotta put a cut here. Let me know if you want to continue this and see where this takes us. Um, I'm very curious, actually. But, uh, anyway, thanks again for watching, and I'll put a link in the uh, description. You play this one, you play it in your browser. But, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.